Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Today's our topic is NP hard and NP complete classes. NP hard and NP complete classes. This is the topic from second chapter NP hard and NP complete problems. This is the topic from second chapter fifth unit in DA subject. Design and analysis of algorithm. Designing of algorithm and analysis of algorithm. Fifth unit, generally in fifth unit you will get direct questions. So in September 2021, this question had asked, 8th B question, discuss about NP hard and NP complete classes. Before that, some, some of the basics, P, NP, NP complete and NP hard. Here P means polynomial problems, polynomial in less time. NP means non-polynomial, exponential, more time, it takes more time for the problems. Before that, if you have any, any, if you want any study material, if you have any doubts, feel free to call me. This is my number 9849181923. As you know, my name is Prasad. 9849181923. You can ask any doubts. If you want any material, WhatsApp me or call me. Some of my viewers are telling that they are facing some problem in the board view. So while you are watching my videos, don't watch horizontally. Right? Don't watch horizontally, make it into, don't watch vertically, make it into horizontal and zoom a little bit and pause whenever you get any doubts. So use earphones, kindly use earphones, whenever you get any doubt, pause it, make a notes of it, use notes, uh, keep a notes and rough, rough notes and pen, everything note down. If you have any doubts, feel free to call me. So I will explain in detail, I will make this board into three parts, here part 1, this part 2 and part 3. So these are the basics, now coming to this hierarchy, please come here. The topic is NP complete and NP hard classes. Here a hierarchy is there, problem, I already told you, problem or our algorithm, programs or software, when you design any software. It can be designed with algorithms. If the algorithm is huge, problem is huge, problem can be rectified in 50 units. We have two groups. That one is, first one is polynomial time problems. Do you able to see this? Polynomial time, come closer. Polynomial time problems. Second one is non-polynomial problems. Non-polynomial time problems. Nothing but here it will take less time. This is the explanation. Pass the board if you want to note the points also. It takes less time. Finite number of steps. In our first unit we have discussed the characteristics of an algorithm. We should have input, output and definiteness. It should be definable, very clear. It should not be ambiguous. You should get accurate result. Here we will get in finite number of steps, we will get the algorithm. Then we will write the type the program, then software will be designed. Here deterministic algorithm will be there, determine, we have determine specific algorithms. Whereas here non-polynomial time problems, nothing but exponential. Exponential time, more time, it takes more time, not clear, ambiguity and non-deterministic. It, it will not determine, not clear, right? So this is second part. Problems can be problem or our algorithm, programs or software. When you design software, we have to type programs. Before that, we will write algorithms, nothing but problems. If the problem is huge, this is of two types, polynomial problems and non-polynomial problems. Many of the teachers and viewers think that this topic is hard, very simple if you understand what it is. Polynomial means less time, the problem will execute. It takes exponential, more time, that is all. This is the explanation. Less time, finite steps, deterministic, determine, we will determine, we, we cannot determine, not determine, infinite, something like. So here the example are searching, linear search, sequential search, binary search, this comes here, examples of this and sorting, so many sorting are there. The complexity, the time complexity is 
big o of log n simple big o of n of log n the complexity time comes whereas here the example are traveling sales person problem in my previous video i have shoot at this it takes more time sometimes it takes ambiguity right uh, big o of n square into 2 power n exponential time it takes more time and 0 by 1 knapsack problem this video also i have shooted i have shooted almost all the videos fifth unit you will get direct question 2 power n exponential complexity time complexity is very high more more time not deterministic algorithms these are here one more point deterministic and non deterministic very simple deterministic means we will get here we will get with finite number of steps we will get the output same output non deterministic means we don't get same output again and again ambiguity situation that is this again this is of two types non polynomial algorithm is of two types np hard and np complete np hard non deterministic polynomial hard non deterministic polynomial complete this is of two types so very simple problem is of two types polynomial time problem non polynomial problem again this is of two types np hard and np complete you can write this hierarchy in the exam and you can write in the theory form of view and a diagram the second third part of the board relation between generally this is common believed relation common believed why that is i will tell you p and np p means polynomial np means non polynomial here the diagram will be like this np is this part the complete part is np out of this p is this part polynomial part means deterministic problems so in general in general in olden days doing so many researches non polynomial non deterministic also comes under polynomial deterministic while doing research writing algorithms writing programs they comes under this slowly they comes under this so finally this become np become p slowly so non deterministic polynomial problems non deterministic problems infinite problems will make it into algorithm step by step finite steps then into p that is nothing but p is subset of np means p equal to np next we have cook's theorem there we need to prove this so this np problems will include here so that's why common believed relationship right this p is tractable traceable because deterministic finite i let you told you limited less time polynomial time is less time non polynomial is exponential more time non deterministic not traceable we cannot trace we cannot find it takes more time very simple simple logic here now the final common believe this title of this diagram title of this diagram is this title of this diagram common believed relationship among p np np complete np hard here here we have two circles same previous this one right np non polynomial problems means non deterministic slowly will comes under this in future that is doing research work and here one more is added that is np hard here same thing i told you p is a set p belongs to np right so np is greater slowly the p become np that is cook's theorem next video i am about to shoot that cook's theorem will prove this this two will equal then that will become this np and p in one circle only right unambiguity non deterministic will also comes in the deterministic infinite steps also comes under steps finite steps then we'll get the software here the definition np hard definition is every problem every algorithm in np np can be polynomial can be polynomially reduced if it to it it can be polynomially reduced to this when this become like this that is called np hard the definition of np hard is every problem in np every problem in np in np we have so many problems ambiguity problems non deterministic problems can be polynomially 
polynomially reduced to it. So, it will reduce it to this, it will become equal to this, then that is called NP hard. But NP complete is very simple, NP complete this part, this dotted lined part, NP complete is equal to NP intersection NP hard, this NP hard part and NP complete part. So, this one right very simple these two definitions NP complete is nothing but NP part and NP hard part intersection part is called NP complete right very simple if you want to pause the video have a doubts drag it rewind it pause the video note the point and call me at any time feel free to call me write neatly in the exam right if you have any doubts feel free to call me all the best for your exams.